the Indiana State Fair concert that uh, is in the journal article, there's about 12,000 people that attended in this uh, multi-hundred acre parcel. And it was an open venue. So readers might look at that and say, well, this might apply to open venue type activities with this large number of people and not think that the lessons learned and some of the key NFPA standards that are cited with the Life Safety Code and within some of our other standards, that they don't apply at smaller venues, but I would say, I would beg to differ. What is in the Life Safety Code, as well as what's in standard 1600 and 610 and 1561, apply to venues of any size, any location, where you have a large number of people gathering in a contained area, and you're gonna to have to respond quickly to deteriorating events, whether it be an earthquake, or it be a weather-related uh, event, such as we saw in Indiana with high wind, or it could be a fire or some other type of disaster that's occurring, you need to respond quickly and to get people to safety as quickly as possible. You need that combination, a safe, built environment, properly designed egress paths, properly designed structures, properly designed response plans, and then the ability to implement those plans and work with all the responders to quickly and efficiently deal with the situation. That applies to every venue, every location, every size crowd, and our standards provide that guidance for all the managers of those types of events. It's kind of coincidental that a month before the event took place at the Indiana State Fair, they had worked with their State Department of Homeland Security and actually had conducted a tabletop exercise of their emergency response plan. During the after exercise uh, report, there were some things noted that could be improved upon and some areas that could be uh, done better to minimize risk and to improve emergency response. Some of those things were addressed and some were not. But it begs the question, when you exercise, does it help improve emergency response? Without a question. Without a question, getting people at the table actually dusting off the emergency response plan, going through your respective roles, con uh, conducting a scenario and having people provide their observations, how they would respond, what resources they would bring, but more importantly, who are they gonna be communicating with? How will they make those communications? At what point do they realize they've exceeded their resources and they need to go beyond their traditional responder network? to get additional resources. And I think in this instance here at the Indiana State Fair, I'm sure one of the things they talked about is how do you work with the media to get the information out. That was a high profile event. Many people in the area knew about it as it was happening due to live news coverage and whatnot. And the owners and the emergency responders want to work with the media the to have to accurate and timely ground. information yeah, put out. That's one of the very important areas. items you can work on in these tabletop scenarios before an event takes place.